Stay with CBS for updates and complete coverage on tonight's CBS Evening News and at cbsnews.com. Bob Schieffer in New York. Is there anything else you can tell me? Well, if you ask me, she's nothing but trouble. I just thank God that it turned out to be a lie that Will was the father of her child. I don't know why he still calls her a friend. She must be holding something over on him. And what do you think it is? I haven't a clue. I don't suppose there's anything you could tell me, anything that I could bring up in court. Could you? Why don't you look at where she lives? I'm sure there are a thousand and one health code violations in that room that she calls home. And when I offered to help her out, she was ungrateful and disrespectful. And sounds like quite a slob. Thanks, Barbara. That's perfect. It's exactly what I need. I'll talk to you later. So I'm glad you decided to get out. It's good for you. Yeah, I felt bad about giving you a hard time. No, don't. It's okay. I understand you blowing off steam. It's better at me than Carly or the judge or someone who's just going to use it against you. Yeah, I guess. So I have a printout of the movie Times, and I think we should see a stupid comedy. Get your mind off things. Uh, you'd, uh, be wasting your money on the price of the ticket. I don't think I could pay attention to a movie or anything else for more than five minutes. All I can think about is the case. You know, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna get my baby back? Gwen, everything's gonna be okay. How can you be so sure? The law's on your side. That's what your lawyer keeps telling you, right? Well, my lawyer will say anything as long as I pay him. Stop worrying about money, okay? Paul's gonna put pressure on Mom so he can get to my trust fund. He's gonna come through. I know he will. Let's hope. What, you don't think he can? No, it's just... I'm just wondering, why does he even want to help me out anyways? Because he's my brother, and he's a good guy. Is he? Why would you think he isn't? Look, I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but are you really sure we can trust him? Hi, Barbara. Hi. Uh, Jennifer's not here. I'm actually here to see you. Is there a problem? I think there is, yeah. About Jen? Yeah. Well, you better come in. I'm worried about her. I mean, her behavior. Her behavior's all over the place. Uh, she's still dealing with the loss of her baby. <laughs> Come on, Dusty. She's totally manic. She's high one minute, she's furious the next, happy the next. I can't believe you haven't noticed this. I have noticed, but I just assumed it was a reaction to the medication she's taking. She's on antidepressants, you know. Well, I thought the pills were supposed to take care of that kind of thing. Eventually, but there might be some kind of instability in the beginning. I'm worried about her, and I think the pills are nonsense. I mean, if this is what they're doing to her, they're obviously no good. What are you doing here, Dusty? Checking up on me? You really want to know what's in here? For weeks, I've had this feeling that Paul's got you involved in something that you don't want to be a part of. If that's true, Emily, I only want to help you. Fine. I wasn't sure I was ready to show you this, but now I guess it's time. Here. These are divorce papers. That's right, they are. You break into my home, you rummage through my things, you better prepare yourself for what you might find. This is not what I came here looking for. No, you came looking for something you could use to hurt Paul. I can't believe I was actually gonna wait to move ahead with the divorce. These papers are already signed. That's pretty damn definite. You break you into say. my home, you interrogate me like I'm some kind of criminal, and you think that... 
What are you doing here, Hal? He was just leaving. Take the papers with you. Sign them. Don't sign them. It really doesn't matter to me anymore. Because as far as I'm concerned, our marriage is over. Whether a piece of paper says so or not. It's the strength in my bones. Oh, let me see that. Once a month. Oh, wow, that's great. Introducing Boniva, a new once monthly prescription treatment for postmenopausal osteoporosis, clinically proven to build and maintain bone density. Where did you get it? <laughs> my doctor prescribed it. I didn't know you could take just one tablet a month for anything. Yeah, with Boniva, you can. And unlike treatments you take every week, you only need Boniva once a month. All I can say is wow. Wow, once a month. Wow, look at that dessert. You should not take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for at least 60 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. You do the right thing to treat your osteoporosis. To build and maintain strong, healthy bones, ask your doctor about once monthly Boniva. There's only one. Don't worry, you'll get used to not having to change a leaky diaper all the time. Loves, life uninterrupted. And check out our wipes. Something fresh is in the air. Febreze Air Effects. It seeks out and eliminates odors in the air. Febreze Air Effects. It's that fresh. A touch of spring. Now available in a baby wipe with the fresh scent of spring blossom from Pampers. Because scent affects how a baby feels. Oh, I should have used Preparation H. Wherever you go, take the easy way to cleanse, cool, and soothe. Preparation H portables, four times bigger than tux pads. Preparation H portable wipes, big relief to go. If you have allergies, discover the Alivert Experience. It starts when you feel Alivert dissolve fast on your tongue, and you know allergy relief is on its way. Now, get a mail-in rebate at participating retailers and try Alivert free. Why hasn't New Orleans been evacuated? Coverage continues on tonight's CBS Evening News. Which of the cuts last four designers can turn a barge full of trash? I stripped that couch down. Into a fashion treasure. It's like artwork. Show it to me. The Cut, new episode CBS Tonight. Share with us, Sierra, darling. What is it that you think you know? Well, I know that you missed your chemotherapy appointment this morning, that you called and canceled it. How do you know that? Because I went there to be with you. Oh, darling, that was very sweet of you, but really, there was no need for that. Um, I didn't go today because I, I, I didn't feel up to it. Is that why you were fighting with Meg? Among other things, we're really getting on each other's nerves. Did you reschedule your chemo appointment? Not yet. <sighs> I'm feeling better. You might feel better. But if you don't get treatment, you're not going to get better. Well, maybe I'm thinking about other options. You know, Mother, what are you talking about? Or should we go get Meg to tell us what you're talking about? Okay, I'll level with you, my darlings. I'll, I'll level with you. I'm thinking of <sighs> alternative treatments for the cancer. What? What kind of alternatives? I found this place. And, 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 and they're doing new things. They're making new discoveries. Where is this place? Rosarota Beach in, in Mexico. Does Dr. Berg know uh, about this? No, she doesn't know, and I don't want her to know. How did you find out about this place? It doesn't matter. Mother, uh, am I the only one that thinks this is insane? I really shouldn't say anything. Oh, excellent, excellent. For once, you're the only sensible person in the room. You know, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Mother. What is the name of the clinic? And let us check it out ourselves. I have already done that, and I'm fully satisfied with the results. So you've been there already. 
so there was no spa trip. You went to Mexico. That's why Meg is upset with you? You got her to lie for you? Meg didn't even know where you were really going, did she? So what? I mean, come on, let's not make a big deal out of this. <laughs> I'm ill, but I'm, I'm compass mentis. I can make choices and decisions about my health. Really? You're abandoning your treatment for some, you know, who knows what clinic in Mexico. You know, that doesn't really instill us with a lot of confidence. Well, Sierra, my darling, that is your problem, isn't it? <laughs> Why would you think we can't trust my brother? Well, he sure didn't seem like he wanted to help us out when we went over there asking for a lawyer. I just caught him at a bad time. He had a lot of other things going on. But if he says he's going to do something, I promise you, he does it. Then why go out on a limb for me? Look, it's like you said, he's got a lot of other stuff going on. I'm sure he's got plenty of problems of his own. I think Paul wanting to help us out has more to do with me than it does you. He hasn't always been there for me in the past, and I think he thinks this is a way to kind of make up for that. And I hope so. Look, I mean, I don't want to sound ungrateful or selfish or anything like that, but I need to know I can count on this. Because if I can't, I've got to start looking for other possibilities. Paul's going to come through for us. He's not going to let me down. Not this time. Oh. Thanks, Bert. I owe you one. What a dump. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave our home. Fine. You're on your own now. No, she's not. She's got me. Door's over there. She needs to look after Daniel. And they just barged in. Just let it go, okay? He's not coming back. No. Not now. I think you handled that really well. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, that was great. I knew I could count on you. Checking up on you. I want to see how you're holding up. I'm holding up fine. I don't need a, a bodyguard or a babysitter. I didn't like the way things ended the last time we saw each other. It was no big deal. And, and, and please don't try to make it into one. Whatever you say, I'm glad you're okay. I'll see you back at the office. Dusty, please wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so harsh. Well, don't worry about it. I know it's not fun having someone breathe down your neck all the time. Only because I, I, I don't need it. I am doing better. I'm moody. I'll, I'll admit that, but aren't I allowed to be? Because I'm just, I, I'm just trying to find a balance here. I want to help you do that. The only way that I can make it is if I figure out how to do it on my own. If you need me, you know where I am. What are you 
you doing? I was using this tube of cherry red lipstick to make my teeth look really white. The dentist, he wanted them to be really healthy. His advice, switch to Colgate Total plus whitening. Only Colgate Total protects against a complete range of oral health problems for a full 12 hours. Who knew healthy could look this good? It's clinically proven to keep teeth healthier, whiter. The dentist said now my teeth are healthier and whiter, which makes my lipstick look even redder. Colgate Total. Complete 12-hour protection, number one recommended most by dentists. Mom doesn't do it like that. That's not the way Mom does it. Hey, you guys getting hungry? Hungry for something good? Healthy choice is great tasting food you can feel good about. You did one thing right, Dad. Healthy choice. Green is good. Night sweats, they go on, then off, then on. Hot flashes, then something else comes off. If menopausal symptoms are disrupting your life, Premarin is approved to treat symptoms and prevent bone loss. If you don't have symptoms, consider non-estrogen treatment instead of an estrogen like Premarin to prevent bone loss. Premarin should not be used to prevent and may increase the risk of heart disease, heart attack, stroke, or dementia, and may increase the risk of breast cancer and blood clots. So use it for the shortest time based on goals and risks. If you have a uterus, estrogen increases the risk of uterine cancer. I'm soaked. I'm dry. I'm cold. I'm hot. I'm not. My doctor prescribed Premarin. Premarin is not right for every woman. Discuss its use regularly with your doctor. Don't use Premarin if you've had unusual vaginal bleeding, breast or uterine cancer, blood clots, liver problems, stroke or heart attack, or think you're pregnant. Side effects may include vaginal yeast infections, leg and abdominal cramps. With five dosage strengths of Premarin, your doctor can choose the lowest effective dose for you. Isn't it time you asked about Premarin? I'm so ready. Find fabulous fall savings this Labor Day weekend at Hancock Fabrics. Save 50% on fleece with 47 fashion colors and new stylish prints. Home decorator fabrics up to 50% off. And McCall's patterns only 99 cents each. The savings start Thursday at Hancock Fabrics. Boy, do I deserve this. It's been a rough day. Oh, this is so relaxing. Huggy's new baby lotion with shea butter. Keep your baby's skin feeling its softest <laughs> all day. <laughs> Got any hors d'oeuvres? It's not working. Let me see. Introducing French's upside down bottle. I don't get it. This is supposed to be upside down mustard. Boys. No watery mess, just mustard. No matter what you're into, there's only one way to go back to school. Get hooked up with Dell. This dimension desktop with an Intel Celeron processor is only $299. Plus, get a free printer. Get more out of now. Dell PCs Intel Celeron processors. What is this, spy on Jennifer Day? I am not spying, I am concerned. Oh, oh, oh I see, so you just you rummaged through my purse behind my back. What, what did Dusty say to you? You know, Dusty didn't have to say a thing to me because you have not been yourself and I've been very, very worried about you, Jen. And you know what? These pills, only half of them are in here. You only had this prescription a couple of days. Now, do you wanna explain that to me? The, the bottle fell into the sink and some fell down the drain. Mystery solved. Now, can I please have the bottle back? Stop looking at me like I'm lying. I'm not. Yeah, I see suspicion in your eyes, Honey, Mom. I am worried about you. I know what you're going through. And I understand how desperate you are to make the pain go away. I am learning how to deal with this. Jen, I know these pills are supposed to help you, but they can also be a problem. They can become a crutch. What are you implying? I just want you to know that you can talk to me. You can tell me anything. I won't judge you. You know that, don't you? Is that what I am to you? A piece of tumbleweed or something? How was Chicago? Uh, it was, you know, good, as expected, with exception to 
your surprise visit. Hey, I liven things up a little bit, even if it was for a few minutes. Let's not even talk about it. You're right. Damn that awkward chit chat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how's Jennifer? Uh, I'm asking myself the same question. I don't know. Why is something wrong? I hope not. Well, now I'm curious. Well, don't be. I'm probably overreacting. Not normal for you. Well, there's a first time for everything. No, if you think something is wrong, it usually is. <sighs> Jennifer's going through what you call major mood swings. I think she just, you know, took on too much too soon. It's all catching up to her. That, or she's taking advantage of your protective streak and she has you exactly where she wants you. You know, I, I should really go. This is none of my business. Absolutely. I mean, uh, this is a family matter and I appreciate your understanding. Okay. I'll call you later. You know, I think we just need to back up a little bit here and, and, and everybody just take a breath and try to look at this from a different perspective. I don't. I, I, I'm not interested in that. I found what I want and I'm not interested in looking at anything in a different perspective. Could we at least talk to Dr. Berg about this? No. I dislike that woman. Anyway, we know exactly what her reaction is going to be. This is my illness. This place. It has had wonderful results. I, I, I met a woman who was cancer-free after treatments there. I can myself attest that I feel better after the... And it, it, it's more than that. Look. Just, no, just, just you look at this. This is my blood. This is improvement. I'll translate it for you, all right? Uh, this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to do. So you just peruse that at your leisure. Maybe we call Bob Hughes and he could Bob talk Hughes. to her. Bob Hughes, uh, she has long past changing her mind, don't you think? Well, then maybe we have to play by her rules and do everything we can not to let her go back to the clinic. Hey, hey, Dad, I'm glad you came. No problem. What's up? I need help with Gwen's court case. Um, I already talked to Paul. I, I just I wanted to come to you too. What kind of help? I have to convince Mom to lighten up so I can get access to my trust fund. Why? So you can give Gwen money? Dad, she's in really bad shape. She can't even afford her lawyer. Oh. With all due respect, son, how is this your problem? She's my friend. Have you talked to your mother directly about this? <laughs> That's gonna do any good. Well, I got a news flash for you. Going to Paul isn't gonna do you any good either. Because unless there's something in it for him, he's not going to give you a damn thing. You know, I have to admit that when I first came in and I saw you and Hal over there by the safe, there was a minute there, I mean, just a minute, when I thought... I was going to tell him the truth about Jennifer's baby being alive. Yes? I considered it. So what changed your mind? I couldn't betray you. You know that I've had doubts about this being the right thing to do. But I am with you. 100%. No judge is going to let her raise a baby in a pig style like this. What do you think you're doing? Coming up on As the World Turns. We've confiscated your passport and your driver's license. You can't leave the country. What? I'm trying to help you out. Then get the hell out of my life. That camera. Oh, these pictures are going directly to the judge. We'll see what he has to say about this. This week, a 
maniac finds his next victim. You gotta get me to a hospital. Now an expectant mother. Come on, Michelle, you can do it. We'll do it together. Could pay the ultimate price. Something is wrong. Come on, Michelle, you're doing fine. Uh, this week on Guiding Light, CBS Daytime. You go first. <laughs> Wait, you, you go. Nope. You first. No, 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 no. I have to after you. Well, actually, I insist. Don't be afraid. This Listerine is less intense. Ladies first. Age before beauty. You want to fight plaque, gingivitis, and bad breath. So get over your fears. Let's see what you're made of. Excuse me. Just try natural citrus Listerine. All of Listerine's germ-killing power. <sighs> but less intense. You guys should really grow up. Natural citrus Listerine. You can handle it. Germs can't. Wedges for you and flats for him. Buy one, get one, half off at Payless. Everyone goes for Prego. What's so special about Gerber's peas? They're picked only when their tenderness and sweetness is just right for baby. Then Gerber's precious peas are washed three times and gently cooked to lock in that fresh pig taste. From the field to the spoon, no one babies their food like Gerber. Shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? Now more moms prefer the fragrance of Gerber Grins and Giggles Milk and Honey Lotion over Johnson's Nourishing Milk Lotion. Get lots of grins and plenty of giggles. Is that my mom using Johnson's? Yes, because Johnson's 24-hour moisturizer is for grown-ups. It leaves your skin feeling baby soft. Johnson Soft Lotion, so grown-ups can have baby soft skin too. The sub-freezing technology used by dermatologists to freeze off warts is available in Compound W Freeze Off. Removing warts is so fast. Thanks, Mom. That was easy. Compound W Freeze Off, the method professionals use. Coming out of the vault, you haven't seen Disney Pixar's Toy Story. Great, now I have guilt! Until you've seen the all-new Toy Story 10th Anniversary DVD. It's bigger. Better. This is a quality sound system. Bolder than ever before. With bonus features light years ahead of its time. <laughs> Disney Pixar's definitive Toy Story 10th Anniversary DVD. <laughs> Hell yeah. You are a sad, strange little man. Own it this Tuesday. Destiny's Child in their last TV performance. Mark McGrath, Poppy Montgomery, Fashion Rocks, next Friday on CBS. Melinda Gordon talks to spirits in the afterlife. What's your name? Sergeant Paul Adams. And helps them communicate with the ones they left behind in this life. I have a gift. Jennifer Love Hewitt. My father is he here. He's right next to you. Ghost Whisperer, premieres CBS September 23rd. It's one of the world's largest planes. Mommy, did you make that plane? Yeah, it's got two stories. And on its maiden voyage... When you wake up, we'll be in New York. I can't find my daughter. Someone will vanish. Does anybody remember seeing the girl? No, sir. You know she's on this plane. Why didn't anybody see her? Into thin air. We don't have any record of your daughter ever having been on board. What? We're gonna find my daughter. Jodie Foster. We're Julia! Flight plan. Waited PG-13. Base taking you into the next decade with no interest till 2011. That's over five years interest free. Furnish every room in your home and pay no interest through 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, through 2010, all the way until January 2011. This Labor Day weekend, take advantage of the biggest finance offer in Chicagoland at Bay. No interest till 2011, but you better hurry. This unbelievable offer ends soon. Help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Make a donation to the American Red Cross Disaster Relief Fund at 1-800-HELP-NOW or log on to cbs2chicago.com to link to the Red Cross. You can help make a difference. You're watching CBS2. Morgan Freeman, Monica Potter, a rock game of spider Sunday. I asked 
sure what you're doing here. How do you even get in? I have friends, Gwen. Which is more than you can say for yourself, I bet. What's with the camera? Did you really think that you could bring a little baby into a disgusting room like this? Uh, I'm looking for another place to move as soon as the money comes in. <gasps> so this is really all about the money, isn't it? That's the only reason you want Rory back. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> That's fine. Go ahead, it won't matter. Once the judge sees these pictures, he will agree that I did the right thing. Not only are you a liar, but you live in a place you know that what? is fit for an animal. Get out of my Let house. alone, a little baby. Get out of my Just house. face it, Gwen. You are not ready to be a mother. Just accept it and let all of this go. That's not true. I will be a good mother. I just need the chance to prove it. Face it. It's not going to happen. Give me that camera. Oh, these pictures are going directly to the judge. We'll see what he has to say about this. You know what? It won't matter. I'm still getting my kid back. He belongs with me. after Gwen with everything she's got. Don't worry, Paul. What if she comes across something that leads her to the truth about the baby? No, it's unlikely. We just have to get Gwen custody fast. Get Gwen and the baby set up somewhere far away. We play this smart. No one needs to know that Craig took Jennifer's baby and switched it with Gwen's. Mm. so precarious. What if Gwen doesn't want to go away? Gwen will do exactly what I tell her to do. I helped her keep her baby. She's not going to jeopardize that. Just have to make sure that the money that sets her up, she has to know that it comes from me and not from Will. I need to have a talk with Barbara. I need to make sure that Will never gets his hands on that trust fund. I know Paul's your brother and all, but he can't be trusted. For that matter, how do you know you can even trust Gwen? She's been lying left and right. She even asked you to lie for her when you were first claiming that the baby was your own. No, that, that was my idea, not hers. I knew how upset Celia would be if she found out Casey was the father. But Casey isn't the father. The paternity suit was negative. Gwen doesn't believe that. She thinks somebody tampered with the test. Well, that's impossible. S something's not right, and I don't believe that she's lying to me. Look. I know you're standing up for Gwen because she's your friend, and I admire that. But I'm just telling you to be careful. Things get really crazy where money is concerned. Now, that trust fund, it's for your education, Will. It's for your future. Dad, money doesn't mean anything if you can't use it to help the people you care about. I care about Gwen, and I trust her. Well, I hope she doesn't make you sorry that you do. Sometimes when people want something too much, they'll go to any lengths to get it. They don't care who they use, and they start believing their own lies. Is that why Dusty was here? To get you to grill me about my medication? What, what, what do you think that I'm doing? Just popping pills one after the other? Honey, Dusty and I both agree that you've been acting a bit erratically. I don't believe this. I, I'm depressed, and then everyone tells me that I need to pull myself out of it. And when I finally do, then I'm just suddenly erratic. I'm damn Dusty wants you happy, so do I. Dusty knows nothing about loss or true pain. He hasn't suffered like you and I have suffered, Mom. He, he, he doesn't understand. He never will. You're right about that. He never will. So you need to just forget about what he said, because I need you to be on my side. I need you to support me. Honey, I do. I will. I always support you. You know that. Well, sometimes it feels like you're ready to hear what everyone else has to say before me. No, Jen. I always put you before everyone else, honey. You know that. Why would you think that Jen's trying to manipulate me? I mean, she doesn't need to. She knows I'm here for her. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. She's not the type to use a tragedy to get what she wants, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not what I meant. So what do you mean? Forget it. 
Maybe it's you who is being manipulative. Meaning? Meaning you're not in competition with her. Are you? She's a friend. And so are you. At least I thought you were before you started putting down this woman who can hardly uh, defend herself. I'm not putting right down anyone. No? Do me a favor. From now on, stay away from Jennifer. Are you still, two are still here? I, I mean, if you think that you're hanging around just to change my mind, forget it. Oh, no, we know we can't change oh, your mind. No, you made that perfectly clear, so <clears throat> you've left us with no choice. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna kidnap me? <laughs> well, uh, as a matter of speaking, um, we've confiscated your passport and your driver's license. You can't leave the country. What? Well, like Lily said, you've left us no choice. Oh, my darlings. That, this is outrageous and utterly ridiculous and rather naive. I have traveled the world with nothing except my library card in my pocket. It's not going to keep me from going to Mexico. Well, I've also ordered the worldwide jet back to Montega. It's on its way right now. And uh, it can't come back unless I order it, too. On whose authority? Well, did, you did put me in charge recently. Why are you doing this to me? To save your life. I love baseball so much. If I could play instead of sleep, I would. But my mom always thinks about my asthma. She worries when I wake up and start coughing at night. Do more to help control your child's asthma. Ask your child's doctor about Singular. Singular helps prevent asthma symptoms before they start and helps provide effective 24-hour control in a once-a-day chewable tablet. Singular is not a steroid and is available for children as young as 12 months. Singular is also approved to help relieve seasonal allergy symptoms. Singular will not replace fast-acting medicines for sudden symptoms. Your child should continue taking their other asthma medicines as prescribed. If asthma symptoms get worse, contact your child's doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, ear infection, sore throat, and upper respiratory infection. Join the millions of people with asthma who have discovered Singular. I just want to play. 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 Ask your child's doctor about Singular today. That's how I used to get my guys up for breakfast. Now, these do the trick. Aunt Jemima griddle cake sandwiches. Sausage, egg, and cheese with sweet Aunt Jemima pancakes. One of the many Aunt Jemima breakfast favorites your family will love. We know blondes. At John Frieda, we've studied every inch, examined each highlight. So we created Sheer Blonde, shampoos and conditioners that remove dulling residues, activating shimmering highlights from root to tip. Sheer Blonde, from the professionals at John Frieda. Bye bye to Tampax and go to Playtex Beyond. The first and only natural tapered tampon and cardboard applicator. Women prefer it way beyond original Tampax. Unsurpassed protection, superior comfort. Go beyond. You know what's great? Is you guys really look out for us members. You got that antivirus protection that automatically updates, and you got that spyware protection to help keep my personal information safe. Not to mention, you guys are always fighting phishing and identity theft. Well, when you switch to a high-speed connection, danger comes at you even faster. Wow, you guys must really like us. A lot. Want a better internet? You belong at America Online. My name is Lily. This is Marshall. He's my guy. Stupid eye patch. This is Marshall's best friend, Ted. I'm ready. Where is she? And there she was. The real thing. We love Ted, but man... I love you. What? What? What is wrong with me? He's got a lot to learn about women. So when you tell this story to your friends, could you avoid the word psycho? Good night, psycho. The real thing. I just don't believe this insubordination. We're just doing this because we love you, Mother. No. Yeah, 
Yes. I, yes, but if you really loved me, it, you, you, you'd, you'd understand what I, I need. And, and honey, I can get to Mexico without a passport. This is something that I think is going to help me. And my two daughters are, are, are preventing me from taking advantage. I don't know what you want. I mean, what do you want? You want me to go around looking like this all the rest of my life and just being unhappy and miserable and dying? Is that what you want? Mother, you trust this Clinica de la Vida. We don't know anything about it. Get out! Give us a second to, to, to investigate it. We can make this decision together. Get out of my house, or I will call the police. Oh. Okay, we'll talk about this when yes, you calm we calm down. Go. It's Mrs. Walsh. Your presence is needed immediately. Well, you're the last person I expected to see back here today. I hope you've got an apology on the tip of your tongue. Yes. And an explanation. Oh, hello, Paul. Hello, Susan. I'd really rather talk to you in private. I trust Paul a hell of a lot more than I trust you. Anything you want to say to me, say in front of him. Well, then, I guess we'll be talking some other time. Sorry to disturb you. Whoa, 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 back up. Hand over the key. I don't want any more surprise visits from you, Hal, or anyone else. I think you're making way too much of this. You come to my home behind my back? You make some illegal search? When did that become a casual affair? If you'll just let me explain. Fine, go ahead. In private. Em, if you want me to go, I'm no, happy just... to... Please stay. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you for the tenth time telling me how Paul's ruining my life. You think that being with me is ruining Emily's life? I'm... I'm devastated. I think she's making a terrible mistake living with you. You're just using her to get over losing Rosanna. You leave Rosanna out of this. Truth hurts, doesn't it? I'm not listening to this. And I think it's a huge mistake moving Daniel in here. Into this situation? Obviously, I'm wasting my time. Yes, you about. are. And you've worn out your welcome. Permanently. That was great. Uh, yeah, great. I don't know much more this I can take. Well, come on. You don't let her push you around. Or how. You stand up for yourself. You should be very proud. Then why do I just feel tired? I don't know, but if you're tired, you come lean on me. Mm. Oh, okay. You know, you have got a lot of nerve going to my mom behind my back and filling her head with suspicions. Calm down. No, I, I am not going to come down till you back off and stop trying to turn people against me. I'm trying to help you out. Then get the hell out of my life. You're wrong about Gwen, Dad. She's not like that. She's just trying to catch a break, and nobody seems to want to give her one. And that kind of a situation can make somebody desperate. And when people get desperate, other people get hurt. No, it's not like that. She's a good person. I'm not saying she isn't, but even good people do bad things sometimes. Yeah, we do. Well, that's not what I meant. Look, forget it, OK? I wanted you to help me out with Mom, but if you don't want to... Look, son, let's not end this on a sour note. I'm always here for you. You know that. I just want you to keep your eyes open. Just know what you're getting into before you step in too deep. Please. Oh, brother. 
Hey, at least I knock. Get lost, Gwen. Not until you give me that camera. You had no right taking pictures of my room like that. I have the right to do whatever I can to keep you from ruining my baby's life. He's my baby, not yours. With any luck, he'll never have to know that. Give me hey, that. get your hands off me! Do you understand that? You can try any trick you want. I will not let you win. At 6'4", 220 pounds, Bob's a formidable man. But he was no match for something less than one millionth his size. It KO'd Bob so fast, he didn't know what hit him. It was a clot. Like Bob, if you've been hospitalized with heart-related chest pain or a certain type of heart attack, what doctors call ACS, chances are you've had a clot. But now, Bob's doctor is helping increase Bob's protection against heart attack and stroke by putting Bob on Plavix. Plavix, in combination with aspirin and other heart medicines, helps provide greater protection against heart attack and stroke than aspirin and other heart medicines alone by helping keep blood platelets from sticking together and forming clots. If you have a stomach ulcer or other condition that causes bleeding, you shouldn't use Plavix. When taking Plavix alone or with some medicines, including aspirin, the risk of bleeding may increase. To minimize this risk, talk to your doctor before taking aspirin or other medicines with Plavix. Additional rare but serious side effects could occur. Ask your doctor about Plavix today, because no matter how formidable you are, you're no match for a dangerous clot. The burn says it's working. <clears throat> well, this is new. If it burns, it's working. Imagine a dental plan that kills germs without the burn. Crest Pro Health Oral Rinse, like the leading mouthwash, kills 99% of common germs that can cause bad breath, plaque, and gingivitis, but without the burn of alcohol. Mm. Crest Pro Health kills germs without the burn. From scuffs on baseboards to soap scum in the bathtub. Everyone's finding new places to clean with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Discover a thousand and one places to clean. Pass it on. You're on your own two feet now. And want to do everything yourself. So we made Pampers Easy Ups 35% stretchier than before. So they're easy for you to pull on. All by yourself. Easy for you. Easy Ups. No matter what you're into, there's only one way to go back to school. Get hooked up with Dell. This Dimension desktop with an Intel Celeron processor is only $2.99. Plus, get a free printer. Get more out of now. Dell PCs use Intel Celeron processors. How far would you go? For the great deli taste of French's bold and spicy brown mustard. French's. It tastes that great. Everyone in the Barnes family is a doctor. Is there a Dr. Barnes here? Uh -huh. Yeah. So when mom split up with dad... Lydia. Stuart. The kids deal with it like the trained professionals they are. Why not confront those feelings? This is what I do, you know. And I give women bigger boobs, but you don't see me doing it at parties. Out at practice. CBS Monday, September 19th. Look, uh, I stayed out of the argument. I mean, you, you chose to tell him about the clinic, not me. You can't blame me for that. I didn't call you back to blame you for anything, and I very much appreciate your discretion. Well, I appreciate you not mentioning that I was at the clinic. I, I, I mean, myself, I'm trying to forget what was in the package that you were delivering for my stomach's sake. I'm trying to forget that. And also, um, I hope I'm doing the right thing not telling Lily about your line of work. But anyway, I'm a woman of my word. So what is it you want from me? Don't laugh out loud. My daughters have seized my passport and have grounded me. I'm grounded. They've grounded my plane in Montego. They think <laughs> that I won't be able to find a way to get down to La Clinica de la Vida. I'm beginning to see where this is going. Exactly. I must get there now more than ever because I think that place is going to save my life and it's going to save my sanity. And you want me to fly you back and forth? Exactly. No, no, no. Lily would kill me. You can't ask me to do that. I'm not asking. I thought you'd be a little smarter. 
And to tell Jennifer about my suspicions, it might make things a little tough now to find out what's really wrong with her, don't you think? What's really wrong with her? She's tired of people like you watching her every single move. And for your information, I did not rat you out about this. She figured it out by herself. You don't give her enough credit. That's the problem here. We don't know what the problem is, but I have my suspicions. Then keep them to yourself. Let me help her. I am her mother. I am the one she trusts. I am the one who can help her, Dusty. Well, then do it. Because I think she's falling fast. This coffee is cold. Do you think I could manage to get maybe a cup of hot coffee? Maybe fresh, fresh would be nice. Thank you. Uh, make that too. Thank you. Meg. Hi. Hi. What? No, I, I can afford my own coffee. Um, well, I felt I owe you one. What for? For Chicago. I just wanted to say I was sorry for showing up like that. I didn't realize you were going to be there, and, well, I didn't realize you and Dusty were, you know, together. D together? <laughs> Romantically? <laughs> Please, no, it, it was just a business trip, nothing more. It was probably our last. Why do you say that? Because the guy's a jerk. I can't stand him anymore. Hey, do you want to or should I? Hey, you go ahead. So that's it, it's over. Finally. No, no one will be able to prove that that's Jennifer's baby. And Craig won't be able to get anywhere near Jennifer. Amen to that. What are you doing here? Coming to check up on you. You don't look too good. Yeah, I'm not. What's wrong? I just figured something out. In case you didn't have anything to do with messing up the paternity test results. Oh, finally. Gwen, that's what I've been trying to tell you. My father says there's no way anybody tampered with that test. Well, I didn't say nobody tampered with them. I just said Casey didn't do it. Now I know who did. It was Carly. Carly. Gosh, it makes perfect sense, too. I mean, she'd do anything to keep you from getting my son back, and her husband's a copy to have access to the oh, files whenever you want it. Okay. You're really not helping yourself here. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea how desperate you sound? Oh. I'm sorry, I guess I'm just supposed to lie down and wait for the train to hit, right? That's not what I meant. There's a reason no one believes you anymore, Gwen. It's, it's because you keep changing what you believe. It was Casey, now it's Carly, it was the wrong baby, it's a conspiracy. I can't even keep up with you. It's finally happened. You've stopped believing me. You don't believe Casey's the father. Where's the baby? You were supposed to stay with him. My God, Carly, what did you do? It. Oh, you are a liar. I've hated him since before he was born. What have you done to my boy? <laughs> That's it. I know how to make sure Gwen never gets her hands on that baby. Next week on As the World Turns. Gwen wants her baby back, okay? That is her number one priority. But if you're not okay with that, Will, then I don't know what you're doing with her. Gwen, where's, where's Carly? And what are you doing with the baby? He left you something. He did? He lived to this. Did you take my mother to Mexico? If you took her, I want to know. A kid can't sleep? He's all congested from nasal allergies. Only Nasonex is clinically proven to treat and help prevent congestion and other seasonal nasal allergy symptoms. Let's tell his mom. You go. Side effects were generally mild and included headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. His congestion's better. But your nose isn't. For seasonal nasal allergy symptoms, Nasonex is the one to treat and help prevent congestion. Talk to your doctor. We look all right? Well, I take pain medicine for my arthritis. She takes it every day. I didn't know it could put me at risk for stomach ulcers. She didn't know. Oh, you didn't know either. If you take certain pain medications on a continuous basis and you're 60 or over, you may be at risk for a stomach ulcer. I didn't want to give up my pain medicine. 
So my doctor... Yeah, Dr. Bogner is a very smart man. ...prescribed Nexium. To take with her pain medicine. For people at risk, one prescription Nexium pill a day can help reduce the chance of a stomach ulcer caused by certain pain medications. My doctor did say that headaches, diarrhea... And abdominal pain... ...could be side effects of Nexium. Talk to your doctor and find out if Nexium, the purple pill, is right for you. For a free trial offer, call 1-800-79-NEXIUM or visit us online. Now she doesn't worry so much about ulcers. It's nice. If you're without prescription coverage and can't afford your medications, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Want to know a secret? Some grown-ups don't eat their vegetables. That's why there's Delicious Ensure. Complete balanced nutrition, vitamins, minerals, food energy. If you don't eat right, eat smart. Ensure, nutrition for a healthier you. Tried a zillion cleansers to treat breakouts? Try the one. Dermatologists recommend number one. Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash gets deep into pores to treat existing acne and actually helps stop breakouts before they start. For skin so clear, Oil-Free Acne Wash, Neutrogena. It's no surprise clients want me to tell them how to get salon healthy hair at home. And I tell them it has to start with professional products. Which, here's the secret, don't have to cost a fortune. Do you know about Tresemme? It's salon performance hair care because it started in salons and it's affordable. Hello, it's my job, making women look and feel fabulous. Professional, affordable. Tresemme. Now, protect your hair from heat with new Tresemme Heat Tamer. A touch of spring. Now available in a baby wipe with the fresh scent of spring blossom from Pampers. Because scent affects how a baby feels. Let me plant this thought with you. If you're a woman like me, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about prescription Actonel. A-C-T-O-N-E-L. Act now and fight back with Actonel. I'm living proof that a mind is a terrible thing. There are some criminals that can't be profiled. I'd love something for you. He's turned it into a game. From the best-selling novel, Morgan Freeman, Monica Potter. Oh Along came a spider, CBS Sunday. I think I saw the same glasses at Four Eyes for a lot less. Yeah, but they're not the same. These glasses speak French. Je